Um, PSG and Dortmund both turn around first leg deficits against Barcelona and Atletico, Danny. They move into the Champions League uh, semi finals. I watched Dortmund. I don't know where you were last night. Flicking. Was, yeah. <coughs> Dortmund were absolutely brilliant to see that one through. Deserved it, didn't they? Yeah. Courageous, going, you know, went right at it. Some great football going forward. Um, I was impressed with them in the group stages, to be honest. You know they did they did well there. In, although they didn't do well against PSG, that's going to be interesting. But yeah, they've got really good attacking players. They play with the handbrake off. Mm. Um, looking forward to that. Yeah, in the semi final, seeing them go at it. I, th- I think uh, Barca were a tad unlucky. Yeah, what's Xavi going on about? Well, like any manager, he's emotional and frustrated. Not happy with the referee. No, he was, it was a, a red card, wasn't it? Yeah, but pretty well. For yeah, Ronald it was. Arrojo. It was a, it was a clumsy one because he was starting the game so he's such a good player that lad as well and as soon as he went off they felt like it felt inevitable what was going to happen but they were in control is why I think they were unlucky 11-11 they look they got the goal that gave them the two goal advantage you never saw PSG really coming back then mm. it's amazing that's the great thing though about football got knockout competition same with any you know Arsenal Munich tonight City Madrid. One one little lapse in concentration, one silly mistake, and the game turns on its head. Well, that's right. I mean, the boy was sent off in the 29th minute. I mean, Xavi says, it's pointless to discuss the game. The referee destroyed it all. We can't stay silent. He changed the game and the entire tie. It was a disaster. But he had to go. Yeah, it was most refs would have sent him, I think. Even if it wasn't a deliberate coming together, he did touch him and he's he's in on goal. That's the rule. Yeah. Xavi's like any other manager. It was his last chance at winning summer. He's leaving, isn't he, at the end of the season? He is. So his frustration was there for all to see. But yeah, yeah ultimately, you're right. You saw our old chum Nasser Al Khalafi uh, mm. hugging Laporta at the end of it, Simon. I mean, is there an irony to this uh, that PSG finally in, in pole position to get to a final? Who's to say they don't win it in the post Galactical Stardust era after the likes of Di Maria, Neymar, and Messi? They've all come and gone. I mean, they still got Mbappe, though, haven't they? So, I mean, they've still got one of those. You know, perceived Galacticos. I mean, they're not slouches, are they? You know, PSG aren't chop liver. They've still got a huge wage bill and hugely significant players. And it's a great result for them. You know, irrespective of the complaints of a manager that should get smacked, you know, because oh, metaphorically, I mean, because ultimately if the referee's made a decision which is the right decision, you shouldn't get away with being able to say things like that just because you've, your team have lost. You don't get a free hit at saying things that are derogatory when, in fact, the the, the, the referee sending off a player was perfectly legitimate and maybe look at your player mm. rather than look at the referee. But it's a great result for PSG. You know, Barcelona aren't what Barcelona were, uh, you know, and haven't been for some time now. Um, but they're still a very, very competitive side. And having beaten PSG 3-2 in Paris, you'd expect them to see the game, even going down to 10 men. You know, they still should be able to manage a game through. It takes away... It takes away the attacking potency, but they can still create a situation where it's very difficult for PSG to get an outcome from it. Mm. And clearly, they haven't. And Cancelo's tackle was ridiculous. Wasn't it? Yeah. You know, they're individual errors. You can't. You got to defend better. The, yeah. the reality was that with PSG's quality in attacking areas, they were going to make chances, and the sending off turned it on its head. But PSG now got an amazing opportunity because they 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 didn't lose. To, I think they beat. Dortmund twice in the groups. We we'll definitely beat them once. Remember that. But yeah, they'll 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 be confident they can beat. Them. I know it'd be a tough game, but on paper you'd make PSG favourites for sure. Yeah, I mean, is, was it a good night though for English clubs, Danny, in terms of what now lies ahead in the final if they get there? Absolutely. I mean, if if the other semi final was Barcelona against Atletico, you'd be like, oh god, there's still a bit I to go. Th- there. I think as soon as the draw was made. Man City and Arsenal would have been, th- you know, Man City it, depending if they get through, but whichever one would fancy themselves against any of the two semi-finalists left. Yeah. You know, yeah. City against PSG or City against Dortmund, you'd have City 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, and probably the same at Arsenal. Mm. Uh, so they go into battle tonight. Arsenal going against Harry's Bayern Munich, and of course, it seems strange to say that, doesn't it, still? Um, and elsewhere, Manchester City are home to Bellingham and uh, Real Madrid. Um, do you get a feeling, Simon, that at long last, this might be PSG's time. No, because no, because no. I think Manchester City are a better side than Paris Saint Germain, and if Manchester City overcome Real Madrid, um, I expect Manchester City to go on. I expect I expect Manchester City to overcome Real Madrid, and I subsequently expect Manchester City to go on and win the Champions League. So I think that PSG may well progress through to the final. They may well 
um, as a result of getting into the semi-finals. But I don't see them overcoming Manchester City. I don't think they have the 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 firepower, irrespective of Mbappe or not. I think Manchester City, whilst they aren't, myself and Danny were talking about outside, whilst they're not quite what they were before, they are still by far the better side and the more coherent. And City look like a team that know how to win things. Mm. You know, the Arsenal and Liverpool straining to try and win this Premier League, whereas Manchester City just seem to be assuming control of the circumstances yeah, yeah. and I think the same in the Champions League OK um, uh, as I said two massive ties tonight with two English clubs involved and then we'll see who makes it through to the other semi-final it was a big night last night though domestically and uh, Southampton again sent out another message that they mean business when it comes to going for that other automatic spot uh, to go straight up from the Championship a lot to get through we're coming up to quarter past ten